come here often? Not if I can help it, but my dear baby may have the flu. It's hopeless. Everyone has it, or we'll get the flu. We're all gonna die. Well, I think that's extreme, young girl. It's just that we got a new babysitter that neglected to mention he had the flu. Everyone knows what precautions to take. What? Before engaging in any activity within three feet of an infant, including feeding, changing, rocking, or reading, one ought to wear a surgical mask, and if the good-for-nothing monkey of a babysitter would have asked for a proper face mask, I would have gladly offered him one of the ones I keep in the second drawer from the right of the refrigerator beside the cookies. So I knew the sitter's seen them, and I would have told him how to dispose of it properly. <laughs> if good-for-nothing bum-picker sitter had any common sense, he might have washed his hands thoroughly before touching my baby. It's best not to remove the surgical mask until the infant is set down. These precautions should be used for the first seven days of illness, beginning in the first day you notice symptoms. Germs can last up to 48 hours on stainless steel, eight hours on fabrics, but not on your skin. So wash regularly and disinfect. Be mindful of door handles and greeting by shaking hands. It's important to watch yourself and your infant closely for symptoms of respiratory illness. If your child develops a fever 100 degrees Fahrenheit or higher under the arm, 101 degrees Fahrenheit or 102 degrees Fahrenheit rectally. Did you say rectangly? No. Oh. Look for signs of respiratory symptoms. Or, if they're less responsive than normal, contact your little one's doctor. That's why we're here, isn't it, monkey? Oh, you're good for something. You just don't know what it is yet. <laughs>